Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Bernoon here with Israeli News Live. I have a breaking news for you. Very, very serious allegations that have come out of Iran uh, and how Israel is successfully killing so many top leaders. It is a betrayal at the very highest levels inside the Iranian government that have cooperated with Israel, taking out all of the big leaders that are going on in the Middle East there. As we have here, Iranian Brigadier General killed along with Nasrallah in Beirut, <laughs> that article that came out there, and now an unconfirmed report that Mohammed Abdul Salam, uh, the head of the Houthi coordination in Iran, and several others have been killed in a helicopter crash in Iran as well. In fact, I'm bringing this out on Israeli News Live. I was going to be doing a very special report on our Patreon channel about this, but the situation is evolving and expanding so rapidly, I felt that it'd be better just to bring this out on Israeli News Live. I was even told that not only uh, before I, I got this report before this happened, before this crash happened the other day, but I was told that I would see the next the step that Israel would strike would be the Houthis and that they would be taking out the top leadership of the Houthis inside of Yemen. And now we see that the first one, Muhammad Abdul Salam, has been killed. And when you see his picture, I don't know if they show they don't show it in here, but I will show you his photograph here in just a second here. Uh, because that is a breaking uh, story there uh, uh, as far as uh, him being killed uh, in, in an Iran uh, crash there. But uh, his, his, his face has been seen quite a bit. Uh, he is a Houthi leader there. I'm trying to find the right one here so you, can, so you know who we're talking about there. Uh, let me put on here, killed. And just put Houthi. There's so many people with the same name a lot of times that it makes it more difficult uh, to know who we're talking about here. But, uh, uh, oh, goodness. There we go. This is, this is the guy right here that I'm talking about. He was actually killed. The top leader of the Houthis is going to be killed as well as the source that I have, uh, who does speak fluent Farsi, told me that he will be killed. Uh, the top leader of the Houthis is going to be killed as well. But he said, you wonder, how do they know? In fact, he had shared with me a year ago that some of this was going to be happening in the near future. He said, it's not going to be the way you think. It's not going to go down the way you think it will. And uh, so he was telling me, he said, all these big time people uh, have been betrayed by the Iranian people inside Iran. Someone in Iran has betrayed them all. Iranian Brigadier General killed along with Nasrallah and the Beirut bombing there we have. Uh, this is Nasrallah. Uh, and I don't condone the actions of these men because I don't condone any violence whatsoever, whether it be against Israel or whether it be against uh, uh the Lebanese either. I mean, quite frankly, uh, it even speaks about in here that the families would be taken out in, as well. Uh, and we're seeing entire families being wiped out in Lebanon, just like we've had in Gaza, a flat out genocide in Gaza. Uh, RT reported here on September the 28th, Hezbollah military leadership nearly wiped out Israel. Officials in the West Jerusalem shared a list of more than a dozen top commanders who have been killed in recent weeks there. As you can see the picture right here showing you that all of these guys that have been killed. Top people. How can Israel, how are they able to take them out? Well, here we go right here. This news clip was just shared with me from Iran. This was filmed two days before, before the death of Nasrallah. This man right here, this is Muhammad Ali Husseini, Secretary General of the Arab Islamic Council. And on uh, Wednesday the 4th, uh, that is two days before Hassan Nasrallah, the 4th of Mahir. I don't know what month or how that works in the Arabic language or the Farsi language. Said that it is two days before Hassan Nasrallah, the Secretary General of Lebanon's Hezbollah, was killed in an Israeli airstrike addressing him. He said that the Islamic Republic of Iran had made a deal on him and as soon as possible write his will. I'm going to play for you the clip here in a moment. It's in Farsi. In recent years, Mr. Hussani was a close friend of Hassan Nasrallah 
who gradually became one of the critics of, the, of this militant group due to his opposition to Hezbollah's policies, especially his closeness to the Islamic Republic. Lebanon's Hezbollah is supported by the Islamic Republic of Iran and recognized as a terrorist group by the United States. Two days before Nasrallah was killed, Muhammad Ali Husseini said in an interview with Al Arabia Channel, Gather your relatives, make a will to them, and write your will because the person who you supported, you sold, supported you, sold you today. This is what he says two days before that. Again, I'll tell you what he says. All right, I'm going to play that first part of it. And as he says, and I don't know which part because I don't understand this language, I just got the translation, I had it confirmed already with a good friend of mine. He says, gather your relatives, make a will you know, the last will and testament, to them and write your will because the person who you supported, who, excuse me, who supported you sold you today. Iran is what he's talking about. Mr. Husseini continued. And let's play what he says and I'm going to read you what he says. <laughs> لانقلبت المعادلة طيب. ولكن من الليلة طيب. اعلم بأنك أنت أصبحت أصبحت مم. اليوم الهدف الأول لذلك اكتب وصيتك وهذا ليس تهديد اكتب وصيتك مم. ونحن اليوم مم. He said know that from tonight you have become Israel's number one target write your will this is not a threat but we are all serious today. We will wait and see. See who told you about your dream of going to Jerusalem and who deceived you. Okay. Hassan Nasrallah was killed in a heavy Israeli airstrike two days later. The Hezbollah command center in southern suburbs of Beirut, along with a number of Hezbollah commanders and Kurds force of the IRGC, Quds force, excuse me. And this man right here just warned on television in the Middle East there, uh, and that was on the... Um, Get the right source again here. Al Arabia Channel is where he was on. Two days before Nasrallah's death was killed, Muhammad Ali Husseini, he said in an interview, gather your relatives, make a will to them, and write your will because the person who supported you sold you today. Mr. Husseini continued, if you knew what Iran said about you, what information it provided about you, what request it made in front of you, the equation would change. They were sold out by the Iranians. No wonder why the president of Iran was killed in a, a helicopter crash not long ago, and along with one of his top aides. Both of them were killed in a helicopter crash. No wonder why now the Houthis, uh, uh, one of the highest command in the Houthi uh, regime as well, is now dead. And they continue nonstop taking out all the leadership. And they were warned in advance it was going to happen. Even Hezbollah's chief tipped to succeed Nasrallah was just killed by Israel. There's nobody that can take the place. Hezbollah, Hamas, Houthis, all those that were supported by Iran have now sold you out 
because they were worried, no doubt, of being struck down dead and killed themselves. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very disappointing to hear these things happening today. Not that I support any form of terrorism whatsoever, but then again, Israel has terrorized its neighbors for a long time. You know, I talked about that, uh, that those little subliminal messages that Netanyahu said when he was speaking before, when he was speaking there before the UN assembly the other day. And when he spoke again, when he spoke there in the UN assembly, he used two code words there. One was that the United Nations was a flat earth society. Actually, he referred to it as anybody that opposes Israel was a flat earth society. Letting us know that if you believed in a flat earth, or even if you don't, it doesn't matter if you believe in it or not, that would be a code word for those that come against Israel, flat earthers. That's why we got labeled that by the DA in Tennessee. Wasn't true. He knows it. He knows it wasn't true. But if you're a Mason working and you're standing with Israel that way, you know what the code word is to give out to someone to let the rest of those involved know that you are against Israel. That's why NBC News went right along with it, knowing completely that it was false, was told in advance that it was false. There was no information to substantiate it, and they still reported it. Why? They want the world. They're letting, it's, a, it's, a, it's a message sent to the entire world. They're anti-Israel. Rather than saying you're anti-Israel, nothing y'all would come up with a code word for it. Flat earther. Anyone that comes against them. And then that, you know, the house of darkness. Referring to the sons of light and the sons of darkness. I'm going to do a special on that as well. Because you're going to be shocked to know that Jesus, his followers, referred to the leadership of Israel 2,000 years ago, the Pharisees, as the sons of darkness then you'll know who the true sons of darkness are. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. It is a world of insanity. Support the work we do if you appreciate it. Stephen Benoon at Israeli News Live. We've also had some amazing videos recently. This interview here, what mega churches don't want you to know. Amazing couple here. Uh, Angelo and... Uh, his wife there, uh, Veronica, that very, very famous uh, couple that have sung in the mega churches all over the world. Not only did they come out of Zionism, but they, and that was just recently, but they've also revealed what goes on in behind the mega churches. Check it out. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.